Um, but really what we're talking about today is kind of continuing education in a broader sense. So I often talk about continuing education and professional development um, as if it's a total given and everybody understands why it's important. And obviously you're here, so you probably get that. Um, but sometimes it isn't completely obvious. Um, so why we're talking about this um, at this particular conference um, <clears throat> is because it is all about professional development. Um, how many of you are students right now? Anybody counting down the days until that's not the case? <laughs> Um, so, whereas soon you may not be a full-time student anymore, ideally your learning, your continuing education, your professional development is going to continue for the rest of your life, and I promise that's a good thing. Um, so continuing education can be a part of many aspects of your life, um, but what we're talking about today is more kind of career focus, and it's professional development. Um, it's, become, it's about becoming better professionals, better employees, better managers, better employers, um, better trustees of organizations, and hopefully better citizens overall. Um, it's about work. It's about finding the best work for you. It's about doing work in the best way you can, making work effective and meaningful, um, and innovating and seeking best practice or generating best practice. And it's really about preparing for what's next. And when I say preparing for what's next, um, what I mean is, as much as possible, being prepared for whatever your next step is, kind of knowing what that is and going out and finding it. Um, being prepared for where the industry is going, looking around and seeing what the trends are, and then generally anticipating change. So whether it's change for you personally, um, change in society, change in your workplace, um, so, I mean, even if you originally started off in typewriter repair, there's still a way forward for you in the 21st century economy because of continuing education. And you can adapt and you can learn as you go. So, formal post-secondary education um, often seems like it's a very clear and linear path. You're in an institution, um, you have a program you're enrolled in, you take some required courses, and then at the end, come on, you get a degree, and hopefully there's a career out there for you. <laughs> that's the ideal, and whether or not that's actually realistic for, for any person in their individual life, um, that's usually not what continuing education looks like. Essentially, continuing education is what you make of it. It's very self-directed. It's based on your own goals. Um, and you decide how, you, how it plays out, essentially. Um, there are lots of different options out there, and you can mix and match them and make them into something that suits your needs. 